If he has uh, two years, he will have changed the papacy. But I think uh, it's going to take more than six months. Uh, so I think it, uh, what's going to be very interesting, his first, uh, his first uh, uh, consistory of cardinals. Yeah, unfortunately, Pope Benedict, any time he had vacancies, he would fill them pretty quickly. So there, there are only like six vacancies now. So that uh, Pope Francis is not going to be able suddenly to remake the College of Cardinals. Uh, hopefully, uh, it doesn't matter whether I die now, I can't vote anyway. But as if, uh, and I'm not going to say hopefully some of the younger guys will die. But I, I think. Uh, Hopefully uh, enough will turn 80 within the next couple of years that he'll have a, you know, a good group. And then if he, if he, if he names enough cardinals who are of his mind, I, I, I could name 20 right now around the world who would be archbishops in major places of his mind or even uh, curial officials who would be of his mind. Has to have time to do that. Because right now, if God forbid anything happened to him, almost everybody would be in place who was in place before. Only a few changes he's been able to make. But the longer he's in, the more I think it is likely that we could say that he has changed the papacy. He's done some things even already. Uh, with regard to transparency in the, and this is really not in the spiritual area, but in the area of finance, the, uh, there's, there's much more transparency. In fact, the Institute for the, for the Institute Opera Religione, the IOR, which like the Vatican Bank, has been, their situation has been very much changed, very much uh, redone. Uh, they just came out today with a, with a statement that was, uh, it was very well done, and uh, you know, you, the, you know, the banks around the the banking agencies around the world were saying, "Gee, that's wonderful." Oh, he, you know, he's, he's got to keep doing that. I think a little, not not just in the financial area, but in, in especially in the area of the nomination of bishops. That's none of my business because I'm done. But uh, we have wonderful holy bishops. <coughs> But you can have holy bishops who are very conservative, and you can have holy bishops who are very liberal, and I think the Lord needs a lot of holy bishops who are right in the middle.